Let's go on a road trip. Well, how are you feeling? You got John Riggs here, live on location today. We are live in Olympia, Washington, our state capital. I did not know I was going to be in Olympia today. I was uh, driving up uh, north through I-5, on my way towards Seattle, you pass right by Olympia, and I was like, you know, I'm familiar with the Tacoma location, but I've never been to the Olympia location of Super Smash Games. They're not open yet. <laughs> but right next to Super Smash Games is the Half Price book, so we're gonna check that out really quick, and then we'll hop over to Super Smash, and um, we'll check it out for the first time. I've never been here, I'm showing up unannounced. They don't even know I'm gonna be here. They probably don't even know who I am. The weather was fantastic. It's actually my kind of weather, that early springtime weather. Absolutely loved it. A little bit of rain, a little drizzle in the northwest on the west side of Washington State. You always hear about how rainy it is. This is what kind of rain rainy is. A little bit of a sprinkle. It's almost like as if you're standing in the produce section when they turn the misters on. It's that kind of rain every once in a while. And I happen to be like that. I'm all for it. Well, I mean, the lights are on, but they're not open yet either. <laughs> they both open up at the same time, so a couple more minutes. Sorry. Fortunately, it didn't take too long because there was like five to ten minutes until it turned 11 o'clock. So I just kind of hung out. It was cool because while I was hanging out in front of Half Price Books, uh, another lady came up and then someone else too, and they all jiggled the handle. Of course, we're standing there. Of course it's locked, but someone still comes up, pulls on it, nothing happens. And we're like, yep, us too. You know, we're just, we're just waiting. We're just hanging out. <laughs> It'll be open pretty soon. Nice conversation, polite conversation with the people uh, outside of Half Price Books. Just waiting for it to open up. Just want to see what they have. And then with a glimmer in my eye, through the corner of my eye, I see one of the employees march up right on time, unlock the door, open it up, welcome us in to the store. And here's a little bit what we saw. Now, the very first thing I'm greeted to is not just a couple of deals right up front, but also the vinyl and the VHS selection that they have at Half Price Books. And again, super cheap too. There's like 50 cent VHS tapes. I have some VHS collectors. Some cool stuff in here, I'm sure. And the comics right next to that too. When I say comics, I also mean manga included in this as well. And uh, super low prices. If you're just looking for something maybe not as collectible, but you just want to read it, man, this is the way to go. I know it's called Half Price Books, but so much more than just books here. I mean, music, video games. I'm here for the video games, but video games... Uh, you know, children's stuff, DVDs, uh, as you saw with the VHS and all that, audiobooks, CDs, um, a lot going on with these Half Price Book locations. And this is the discount store too. I don't know if I mentioned that up front. Uh, this is Half Price Books, like the Overstock, the Warehouse, there's a word for it, um, uh, like Outlet. Nice to see when they bundle the thing, like they had like the book and the DVD together. You can buy like this, I mean, six bucks only that's your thing. And they had a few of this exact collection that you could grab. It's right near the children's section. Love seeing the DVDs. Always some great DVDs in there. The books, as pleasing as it is how they're layered from like tallest to smallest, I'm not looking for the Dr. Seuss books, right? I, I doubt they're in here. So I see the books. I see the music. I see the VHS, the vinyl, all these things. Where are my video games? And I found them. And here's what I saw. Oh, insert losing horn from Price is Right here. Whole bunch of sports titles. A couple of board game type titles. A couple of game show type things in here. Yeah, I mean, I, I expected nothing, like I said. But yeah, this is kind of cool. Wolverine and X-Men Leafster? <laughs> okay. I mean, we can check out the DVDs while we're here. I mean, there are some things on DVD that we don't have streaming right now. Um, I don't know if this is streaming or not, but I love Mr. Show with Bob and David, so cool to see this here too. I mean, I was just there because that was there too, but Super Smash Games is what I was really interested in looking at, so let's let's go next door, see what they got. I like this uh, mural here. A little bit of everything. And shout out to them for including the uh, Link Between Worlds link. Everyone always does like the Smash link, which would make sense for Super Smash video games, right? But, you know, they opted for the uh, Link Between Worlds link. Out of all the Zelda games. Well, it's one of the Zelda games that doesn't get... Ah, oh, is that Ult Ultros? Was that the guy's name? Love that boss. Cool. Yay! I see part of a statue there. Guess we'll find out what statue that is when I get in. Is that Halo? It's probably Halo. And when you walk inside, that's right. Big old Halo statue, right, when you walk in. Now, I didn't recognize the employees. 
nor that they recognize me, and I'm okay with that. Uh, nice, clean, open. There was a sign that said, you know, mask for sure, as well as like three to four customers at a time. And when I walked in there, I was one, and there were two others. Um, so that's that was the situation when I walked in there. But when I walked in there, nice, clean, open area. I see the glass case, I beeline right for it. And some cool stuff on the inside. I always love seeing Sega CD stuff in here, including this collection. I, I believe this was the pack-in with the Model 2, and this is what I have too. Fun to see. Looks clean too. Some great Wii games while we're here. Always, always. No sign in gaming stores makes me more happy to see imports. And here's a few imports up front, and there's more imports later on in this store too. Again, I've been to the Super Smash games in Tacoma. I did a video on that like four or five years ago or something like that. It was a while ago, my first time in the Olympia location. I've always been a fan of Super Smash games and they've always had, I think, great prices, fair prices, and um, again, with the import selection, you can't go wrong. Well, let's see what else the store has too. So, I mean, your basic wall-o games, right? Xbox, PlayStation, whatever you're looking for. There's some Wii down there as well. Some third-party controllers for your Nintendo 64, a must if you're doing those Mario Kart or maybe No Mercy sessions. I liked what they did here with the Game Boy games. The little case, you pop the hole through them, and these are some imports here. And it goes all the way down. Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, love it. More imports as well. These are your Famicom titles. Let's see what they have here. Again, good prices and Kickle Cubicle, I mean, I, I tout this game highly. Standing proud in the case next to me. Got Star Fox looking on. And this case is pretty cool too. Some CIB NES games. Well, a couple of them are maybe missing the manual. Great prices though. If you're looking for CIB games for your NES, I mean 20 bucks, 25 bucks on some of these games. And they're actually decent games. You get the box and manual. What, what a great deal. I was tempted to buy one of them just for the sake of getting one, you know? Even some great Super Nintendo games as well. Paladin's Quest. I've talked about that one before, all the way down to Genesis and beyond. I'm not a CIB collector, so loose carts um, always interest me more. Here's a great one, Jewel Master. If you haven't checked that one yet, I would uh, recommend it. Check out Jewel Master. Decap Attack right next to it, it's one of my favorites too. Got the loose NES games. You know, recently talked about the $5 NES games, and here's Wrath of the Black Manta, one of my favorites. And then behind the glass, ask for permission to see these ones. There's even more games over here. And how often do you see this Super Nintendo game here? I mean, you don't have the bike with it, but <laughs> you can get the game at least if you're collecting it. And some consoles uh, behind the set here too. The staff, very attentive, very knowledgeable too. While I was here during this time, an old lady came in with a suitcase and she kind of walked in. One of the employees apparently knew her, you know, was singing her high praises when they were there. like, oh, I got some trade-ins too. And the trade-ins from the, the sound of their voice sounded Excellent. And after she left, um, they're like, oh, she's come in here before. She's always dropping off JRPGs. She's a gamer. Um, her grandson is a gamer. I, this, when she was there, this is a true story. Uh, and I don't want to take a picture of it. I didn't want to do a video because I, I want to respect their privacy. However, I'm happy to talk about it all day long, <laughs> right? I guess um, from what I overheard, uh, she brought in a Game Boy player, you know, the Game, the, the Game Boy player for the GameCube. She brought it in, got some trade-in value for that, right? Didn't have the disc with it. She said, oh, I found that Game Boy Player disc. I'll just bring it in for free. You can just have it. You already have the thing. I'll give you the disc for free. And that's when the employee behind the counter was like, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll give you good trade-in credit for that because the disc is what people are looking for. The, the, the player itself, fine, but the disc, you gotta have that disc. So I just thought it was so cool that they're not, not gonna undercut someone. They're not gonna say, oh, I'll take a free disc. No, they're gonna give them a great value for it. And I thought that was, that was really heartwarming. Fun seeing the trinkets on top too. I mean, you gotta have Rob here. <laughs> and a great look at the store as well. Now, admittedly, it was around this time when a, a family came in there, husband, wife, uh, child. They walked in and then one of the staff members said like, oh, hey, um, our, store's at, our store's at capacity right now. Um, can you please wait outside until some people leave? And I felt bad because I was there just to film. I didn't buy anything, so I was I was dead weight at that time. So I was like, you know what, after, after I heard that, you know, then I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna slip out the back. So I thank them for their time. Great location, great store, and uh, especially for the Olympia area. We always talk about the great game stores in the Seattle area, Portland area. There's a ton of them out there. But I mean, but Olympia, Washington, our state capital, uh, has a capital of a game store 
right in that town. So if you happen to be in the area driving through or something like that, I think it's worth checking out and worth stopping by. I thank you for watching. Fun video today, just a quick little travel type uh, idea. Something anyway, and thank you. And uh, hopefully we'll see you at a game store sometime in the near future. Traveling is gonna be opening up here right quick, so looking forward to seeing you in the very near future.